African king. Odoguwoke. African king of Kenya. How are you? I just want to appreciate you. Why wouldn't you have her dead? I'm also having her dead go. This is your brother. This is your big brother. He want to finish us. So why wouldn't you have her dead? When he will be behaving anyhow like this. But I just want to celebrate you. I want to thank you. I want to thank God for your life. I want to thank God for giving you such wisdom. For blessing you with so much wisdom. Why would you? Of course, you are a king, David. So, you are a man of wisdom. It's not by age. It's not by might. It's not by power. Even though you are the last child, but see how you are bringing your family together. Your siblings abandoned your uncle that took care of you guys. But you know, King, I'm also asking myself, what happened to Congress mom? You guys grew up with Uncle Mo. Didn't your mom send him to school like she did, being a teacher at least? Thank you for opening our eyes. So you don't even need to tell me that your uncle is not lazy. I know. It's very, very obvious. Thank you for setting the record straight. Thank you for appreciating what Michel Ponte has done. Thank you for celebrating him. And I love how you said it, that if you don't do this, it will be evil of you. Uncle Mo came to you too because of your brother. Uncle Mo got his windows, his protector fixed because of Michel Ponte. Thank you for appreciating that. Despite what your siblings are doing, despite how they abandoned him, claiming that he's old enough to take care of them. But you did not. After they made sure that they cut that cord between him and Michel Ponte, they still abandoned him, making us believe that he's a lazy man. How can a lazy man acquire a land in Africa? A lazy man? When we know how expensive land can be, it doesn't matter anywhere in Africa. Land is land. People die every day because of land. You are too much. See your life. You are blessed already. Apart from what you did for your grandfather, you decided to extend it to your uncle. To appreciate his hard work all these years for looking after you guys. As you are looking after your uncle, God will surely look after you. David, you shall never lack. Before you will even think of that thing, it's done already. I'm so happy. We are so proud of you. You can see it in the comment section. But see, David, there's something else you need to check. Oh, this PayPal account of your uncle, Uncle Mo, it looks like it's not active. Because when I went to his description, I didn't see anything. And this video you shared, that you put the Uncle Mo's uh, uh, PayPal account, is not active as well. You better check it too, because I don't know whether witches and wizards are now putting hand that Uncle Mo will never get help from people. You see, the people that need help and they will get it directly will never get it. This is irony of life. The people that are already making more than 15,000 US dollars every month, they will still not have the shame to be asking for help. Look at a small boy like you, David. You took out from your own money. You are not even as big as them. You took out your own money and constructed your grandfather's house. You did not expect your fans to do everything. But these people, they will collect everything, the revenue. And still, they, on top of it, they will still be asking for donation here and there. Our African king, you are too much. Ha! David, you are making us so proud. Take care of yourself. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Modesta. Do well to join the family if you haven't and to my returning subscribers the modest nation i see you all thank you for your love and support it's a reaction video yes guys who made it to this table eh? king david of africa is on this table 
Jim Wango and JB. Hey, our latest couple. Hey, they are on this table. See, D, if you are sitting on this table, don't get close to our African king, David Jr. I don't want you to spoil him and teach him all this, your bad, bad character. Shift. King, take that chair to the other side. I don't want, nobody should get close to him. As you are coming inside, shift. I don't want you people to come and spoil our boy for us. JB! Oh yeah, sit close to your woman. Yes. Marwa, you must stay very far. Stay there. Marwa, stay there. Stay there, very far, very far. Yes. You must be at that side. Marwa is on this table, guys. Uncle Mo, the love of my life. <laughs> Uncle Mo is making headlines always. In fact, all the Marwas made it to the table. Guys, you guys requested for something in the comment section. You guys were like, let's make this, keeping it up with the Marwas. So that every day will not be. But you know, reactors, we are everywhere. We are like, eh. If it blows like this, it blows like this, it blows like this. What, wherever it blows us, if we keep us for Kenya, we will stay there. If the breeze carry us, go to Nigeria. If it takes us to Yankee, we will be in Yankee. Anywhere. So that's why we will not make it keeping up with the Marawas. Let's get started. What do you have? I've got my apple and some natchez. Tangerine, okay? Mmm. 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 Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Very crunchy. Mmm. Wicked. Mmm. I'm a foodie. I'm a foodie. I'm a foodie. Guys, if you don't eat apple every day, you are missing a lot. You will come and eat like an elephant. And you will want to shit. When you go to that comfort room, you will be shitting like an ant. What is this? Eh? Everything that you have eaten will jump back inside your stomach. And be causing you problem. Huh? You must eat like elephant and shit like nothing else. You got a go? Ah. Apple. Apple gum. Good, good, good stuff. Good fibers. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. When you guys tell me what you are eating, eh? when I read your comments and you guys, some of you guys will tell me I'm eating the. Hey, somebody told me I'm eating goat stew. Like this. Hey, whoa, come and see saliva. Mmm. 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 I'm a foodie. I'm a foodie. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm a foodie. King David, the most handsome guy in Kenya. Nobody can tell me nothing. You see this guy? He is handsome inside out. Very intelligent on top of it. How you come find like this, King David? Hey! As I'm working, how you come find like a woman like this? I've never seen a man that is handsome like a woman, you know? Guys, he shocktalized me. Oh. David shocktalized me when I saw this video. He titled it, My Uncle is Not Lazy. Thank you, at Michel Ponte. He was even advising us. Because as you guys know, our big fish, the big brother of Kenyan Tanzanian town, came and told his subscribers to go and report our channels. 
David is indirectly passing a message here. He did the same thing to Michel Ponte. Support who you want to support from your heart. Use your own judgment. Use your own thinking faculty. Don't listen to someone because probably you are in love with that person. It's good though. I have my own people here. No matter what offense they have committed, I will never see that they have done anything wrong. I have people like that. I feel you guys. But use your senses. If somebody will come and tell you, go and report. Go and unsubscribe. Don't watch this person because this person is evil. Wait until you get it directly. Wait until you experience it that this person is really not a nice person. That's the message that this small but mighty boy, that is the message he passed. He said that Uncle Mo has been dead. Guys, how can you forget someone who was there for you when you needed the person most? When you needed that person most, he was there. He grew up with them, cooked for them, would go to market. Like, basically, he is like house boy in the house. And somebody will come and be saying this kind of rubbish. You are in the Philippines. You did everything you did for someone, a total stranger you don't know from Adam. And when people question you that, why can't you do the same thing you have done outside? How do I, where do I even start? Eh? Where do I even start with this David? David made sure that he stood by Uncle Mo. And Uncle Mo also supported David. He was there throughout. They, every day they were traveling down to grandpa's place to make sure that they completed that project. Maybe by talk. A small boy like this. Have you seen how things are done? You guys, <laughs> lazy people everywhere. You guys should be thinking, you know. Not when somebody will come and brainwash you like this and make you feel like, oh, they are on my neck. They are fighting me. I'm getting attacked from them. You should look what this person is saying. Is it true or false? David asked people to help if you want to renovate grandpa's house. He did what? He completed the task. When he completed the task, he now moved to his uncle. He said, I'm going to use my influence to help my uncle. My uncle was there. My uncle is not a lazy man. My uncle cooked for us. Now, Congress Grandma, come, come and sit down, ma. You are welcome to this show. You are a nice woman. Very, very intelligent. Ha! Congrats, Grandma. I feel like saying uh, English, you they teach for the school. And this, you guys, <laughs> this is your school, eh? You guys got a very big land there. You are even doing farming. You are doing well, ma. Congrats, Grandma. I want to ask you one question. How come? You being a teacher, you've been a teacher for 30 years, like you said. How come I knew very well that Uncle Mo, let's say he's 40, by the time he was with you, he was around 10 or so, I don't know when, but he has been with you since your children are saying that they grew up together. Uncle Mo, your children are confessing now that Uncle Mo took care of them from when they were small. How come you didn't send him to school? Because you cannot tell me that Okumo is not intelligent or Congress mom. You know, sometimes, guys, we make this mistake without knowing it. You will bring someone's child, maybe not even someone's child, maybe your niece or your, ne or your nephew, maybe your sister's child, but probably because you are in the right position to look after that, your sister's child. Now your sister's ch child will automatically turn to your nanny. You take your children to a school that is more expensive and posh and then your sister's child who is not even supposed to be a nanny will now turn to go to public school and all the hard hard work all the house chores will be left for this your sister's child just because your sister cannot send her child to school this is the mistake that a lot of us are making a lot of us are on this table when it comes to this and the effect shows later on. Later on, that person you took like a child will grow up and the difference will really show. 
That's why we need to be careful. Because Uncle Mo, looking at him, you will know. Forget about what Marwa is saying that Uncle Mo is lazy. Anybody with her right or his right senses will know that Uncle Mo was just under a situation. How can someone who is lazy buy a land in Africa? Eh? You know how it is for you to save money, to the extent of saving that poor money to buy a land. Even if you are going to pay in installments, you still have to pay everything you need to pay. He bought the land, started building it. And when somebody else, a stranger came and showcased him, it became a problem. He started ranting. Leave our family, leave. Now, my no, as we are talking, is no longer coming close to Uncle Mo. You see how far they have destroyed this man? Can you see how far what they have done? But I thank God that David, I thank God for David's life. David gets close to his mom. David gets close to Uncle Mo. David also, the other day, was appreciating D. Mom was in the kitchen cooking and mom said that, oh, D is the one that set up my kitchen. David was giving shout out to D. Would D ever do it? What did this small boy do to them? I don't know. And they would come and say, oh, there are some Africans. It's unfortunate that they are blacks. They're hating. The same Marwa, when he was in Europe, he confessed that he was a Ghanaian guy that housed him, helped him. I watched that video. Someone shared the link with me. The same Ghanaian person helped you. How much do they even make? Guys, <laughs> you know Miss Trudy opened their yash. Miss Trudy opened D and Marwa's yash like this. Wow. Recently, Miss Trudy shared her journey, her story. I reacted on that video yesterday. I don't want to go into details again. But the main thing I want to say here is Miss Trudy was asked, like, on average, how much she makes. She said from 8,000 to 10,000 US dollars. I said, ah! Meanwhile, Miss Trudy doesn't post as much as this Marwa post, though. Marwa and D. Or is it D that knows her strategy? D that knows how to, to really get views. <laughs> Biracial couple. <laughs> hey! What that shall never end. We are still coming to that one. Eh? What I what which one will we even talk about? When Miss Trudy said that. She makes up to 8,000 US dollars to 10,000 US dollars. Yeah, that is the minimum, meaning that sometimes it might even exceed. I said, what about Marwa that drops video every day like this with drama? She knows that, ah, definitely people will click and watch. Now, let's talk about GoFundMe. There's this uh, GoFundMe that I saw in one of uh, Marwa's link. I'm going to share it here. Someone just dropped hundred freaking US dollars and the person mentioned there for Mama Anne's floor and that money just dropped after Marwa told them to move in guys remember I told you people that I know this strategy that the moment Marwa will say ah Mama Anne you have to move in that people I know people they, all these are donators especially those from the US they will give they must dish out there's nothing wrong guys you would think that I am against people helping or uh, what Marwa is doing. I'm also a poor person. Not like I am already like a first class person and I don't understand what it is to be a, a poor person. I feel what these people are feeling. I'm also in that situation. As a matter of fact, in my own village, in my own community also, people are struggling the same way. I am in that situation. It's something firsthand I've, I've witnessed and I'm still witnessing it. Poverty is also in my blood. So nobody should come and tell me, please don't do this. Allow Marawa to help them. Poverty is in my blood. As I'm talking to you now, you see this dress that I'm wearing now. I've worn this dress for 22 years. Is this not poverty mentality? <laughs> you know how people can wear clothes and throw it away? <laughs> So, nobody
Somebody should come and preach to me about poverty. This dress, I will try to put a picture. This dress now, I've worn it for 22 years. I have so many. I have so many dresses like that. Even my shoes like this. I hardly throw something. I will be fighting with my husband. He will be like, Ay, why you are keeping this? Why? So nobody should come and preach to me about poverty. Or helping. There's nothing wrong in helping. What Marwa is doing is 100%. If you are a reasonable person, you will know that it's 100% good for, for the community, even for his community. I, I appreciate him. Like when that Mama Anne's house came up, I saw the comments that people were leaving. Marwa ate 90% of the money. Some said Marwa spent 50% of the money. I never came here to talk about it because I said for him to even thought of doing this, or is it people that were giving reasons that he did it because he didn't want his house to look haggard because this person's house is very close to their house. Some said that he's trying to get this land from them take the land and extend to their own some said a lot of stuff but i came here and i commented that what he has done is good they thought a lot but at the same time he must be accountable he must be held accountable 247 now my question to marua is someone gave you 100 us dollars towards making the floor of Mama Anne. Why are we not still seeing? Why is the work not starting? Why can't he get at least one bag of cement or even two bags from that hundred dollars to get the work started? At least to start from one room to the other while more people, more donations are coming in. Because more donations are coming in. Someone even said that there's still seven thousand in the account. I don't know. I'm not the one managing the account. I will not go, but the one that I saw with recent dates, two days ago, he's supposed to have updated or start plastering that, start doing the floor. Then one go, renovated the house and made sure that she tiled the house. Why can't they help? If Miss Trudy will give us an estimate that these big, big people with these big, big numbers and deals are making close to 8,000 US dollars. Or do you only know how to use it on your boyfriend? You made him resign from his job to be with you, to travel with. Now you guys will always be together. Eh? You only know how to spend it on outsider. And you want to prove to us. You want to make sure that you push this thing down our throat that you and JB are together. Hey, Wango, you don't need to prove any points. If you guys started it like play like play, because you guys started dating 20th of September, I watched your Q&A with your boyfriend. Yeah, the new channel. I watched it. I enjoyed it. You guys started dating 20th of September. Go and check when we started saying that this is not real. It happens. You can see a guy today. You will not want to have any ship with him. You will just see him as a normal person. No attachment, nothing. Like, you don't have any butterflies for him. After one month, if you see him again, something might happen. And you guys will kick it off from there. It happens. So, you don't have to come and uh, prove anything. Oh, we said that uh, JB is a tall guard. We said that JB is your fake boyfriend for views. African T posted in her community. <laughs> hey! You know why I'm laughing, guys? Fake pastor was attacking us and attacking with the Maya for nothing. African tea carried the video like this bo, 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 to her community supporting fake pastor. What is happening today? The same African tea is back calling fake pastor a bad person. And fake pastor came crying. Whether that crocodile tears, I don't care. But you see how the table has scattered. You see how you guys are disgracing yourself. Now, African tea is saying that it's not about having a Filipino boyfriend. She made that community post because of the. It's not about having a Filipino boyfriend. But if YouTube shuts down, will you be comfortable to stay with this your Filipino boyfriend? Will you still 
Say, my mahal, my mahal, loving, loving. Will you be proud? Guys, can you see what I'm seeing? So what does that tell you? There's fire on the mountain in this sheep that we're seeing. You let a young man resign from his job, somebody that is not married to you, and you tell me that tomorrow you guys will not start fighting. Who does that? Interracial couples, interracial couples will get views. Not all interracial couples get views. I don't agree with you, African tea. You can go down and get a white boyfriend and try it out, you will see. And views do fluctuate. So, views is something you can never rely on. You can even rely on some of our subscribers here. Sometimes you even asking yourself, subscribers, please, you people should unsubscribe. Don't give me big, big numbers and no views. But you see views. Views will disappoint you like nothing else. You see somebody with one million subscribers with one view, no view. It happens on this space. Go and check. Not even about being with an interracial person. Oh, this person is black. This person is not always the case. I wish them all the best. Something is behind it. It's driven by money. It's driven by greediness. This relationship that we are seeing, I'm going to say it and I will say it again. They just, you know, started making it look like, yes, they are. But still, the chemistry is not there for me. I will say it over and over again. And there's something behind it. Period. There's something behind it. You can't let a young man resign from his job. And you are even so proud to say, oh, if he did not resign, I would have left him. So it means you don't love him. You can't leave someone because the person still decides to do his job. You, you do, then, then you don't love the person. It means that there's something you are looking for. <laughs> You know this D. <laughs> D doesn't know when she complicates herself all the time. If you're going to force someone to resign so that you can travel and do stuff, what does that mean? You want to use the person. Because if it's true love, the person will take his time because these are the decisions that someone needs to make on her own or his own. The person has to decide. You don't force that person. And then start saying thank you to the person. Oh, you decided to. And then you are the one now controlling that person because, of course, the money is in your hands. You are the one buying the ticket. You are the one making clothes for him. You are the one feeding him. You are the one paying for all the bills. And you have the audacity to come and shame another man that he's in Africa, left his country because he's poor, he doesn't have money. Wherever Michelle Ponte is now, Michelle will be laughing. And this guy again, you remember he told us that this guy is 25 years. This guy again is saying that he has worked as a manager for 10 years. So does it mean that he became a manager at 15? Michelle Ponte also stressed this out. And I can see it now. We wish them all the best though. Let it be real. We will keep watching. And if we have to react, we will react. We're not hurting on them. But, you know, when you have to do something in order to prove, it's really bad. It does backfire. And that is the message her ex-bestie was passing here. Her ex-bestie is like, you guys are just playing games and you think that we don't know. Off camera, we know how it is. We know how it goes. We know that you don't freaking love this person. We know that... Deep down your heart, this is not even the person that you would want to be with. But because, of course, the money rolls. Because the money rolls in, you don't care again. Everything is for what? For views. Everything is for camera. So long as at the end of the month, you are smiling to the bank. You don't care. The difference is clear now. But when it backfires like this, eh? Hmm. Guys, there's another thing when I was watching them, D and JD. D uh, said to JB that they were talking about, you know, having issues in any relationship. And then JB said, yes, yes, it happens everywhere. And D was asking him whether they have fought before. And they said, yeah, it, it was just a misunderstanding. And D said, yeah, it happened. JB was at work. 
and D was at home, da da da. So what does that tell you? That misunderstanding they are talking about is the same issue they had with this African tea. And people are saying it already. The African tea tried to play games with JB. And that is why D now decided to open her legs and be like, ha, this person that I'm playing games with, pretending to... At least, now they are sharing hotel room with only one bed. What have we seen in their past videos? So when she saw that her bestie came from Kenya to grab this person that, of course, D opened up to African T. I don't need him. I just want him for views for my YouTube. This is YouTube relationship. Nothing. I don't have any attachment. So after D said all that, African T came and started having interest. And when D noticed, she became mad. So all these things that people are saying, it's true. It's making sense because don't forget that in every rumor, there's atom of truth. In every nonsense, there's a sense. Look at it very well. They were not even sure when they started dating. And that again boils down to what I'm saying. That they just started rolling it out now. Probably because of this incident with African tea. You understand? Because... D is confused. JB is confused. They don't know when they started dating. And I'm like, did you guys start dating 100 years ago? <laughs> hey! Relationship of three months ago, 20th of September. You guys cannot remember exactly when. This person is saying something different. The other person is saying the same. <laughs> All the best, though. Before I say goodbye to you guys, if you are close to Marawa, Please tell him to start using all those donations to finish Mama Anne's house. If people have donated for Mama Anne's house, use it for Mama Anne's house. Don't collect the money and then divert it to something else. And it's something that you are showing on camera. If somebody donated, you should be able to show what you have done with it. Yes, that's what I'm pleading. It pains my heart. To see that more donations are still coming in. But this guy seems like he doesn't want to use it towards what he's donated for. Alright guys, if you watch till this moment, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Modesta Lifestyle. And I will see you, you, you on another reaction. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Bye. Bye.